Welcome back to another episode of War of Division Arena. Uh, this is no refreshes runs. Uh, to see where I end up when I use uh, no refreshes. Uh, um, I'm hoping I can get at least like top 2,000-ish. And then I'll record a final rank. And then by then I'll probably try to push for... Uh, by the last day I'll record a final rank. And then I'll kind of push my... Um, I'll throw in some Vizior and try to push myself to top 1,000. Because the rewards are still actually decently good. So yesterday I was top, I ended up at top one, uh, 4,162. Uh, so that's not bad. Uh, but I do want to show you guys something. Uh, this was yesterday. Boom, 11,250 Vizior. Uh, I got that from an offer wall, uh, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, I do run a lot of offer walls, so uh, if you guys are interested in making a, uh, another updated video of that, uh, I'd have one. Ma I have made one before. Um, okay, this is Scion of Shadows. Uh, oh my gosh, my game crashed again. Uh, I think the game's been crashing a good amount since the update with Sakura. Uh, well, go around more. Like, the game still crashes. The game's always been crashing, it's just been crashing a good amount more, I feel like. Okay, uh, apparently there's vision card bonuses right now, so let's check out what vision cards. Uh, I'm planning to go for a light team, straight up light team. Uh, I'm hoping maybe the vision cards will, bonuses will give me a higher. Uh, I wonder if the vision card and the uh, unit bonus stacks. And even if there was one, I think it's probably Leviathan. But we'll see. Okay. Uh, this doesn't. This says unit and vision card bonus, but it doesn't give you the vision cards yet. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing it's Leviathan. This does say bonus over here, but this doesn't. Oh well. Uh, okay, this is straight light team. Uh, Sakura first turn, hoping for zombie, and then second turn, uh, lights protection. Or thunder lightning protection, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I do have Scion of Shadow here, but it's not maxed out. So that is a consideration. Um, Sakura, I might switch over to uh, Scion of Shadow. Uh... That remains to be seen, but this card should be decently good on Sakura. Uh, she doesn't have the... She's not Skull, so she doesn't get the extra 25, but that's fine. Uh, she does get Ruin Jaw, so hopefully Ruin Jaw will come in handy. But I don't think she needs it, because she has even better... She has better abilities. And if Ruin Jaw causes her not to use Rebel Intention, that's not good. Uh, but okay, uh, the plan here is to go for a tanky defensive Sakura. Trying to get her, I can get her, realistically I can get her to around like 70 defense, but I don't think that's necessary with the 25 reduction in shield. But we'll see. Uh, I'm playing to hunt kings, so I'm looking for a bunch of kings I can hunt. Because uh, she's supposed to counter king. Unfortunately, the lower levels is all uh, really random. Uh, but since there is no, uh, I don't get a rate up over here for fighting that king, I'm going to fight this one. That cane has a weaker tank crit uh, that's not even holding a weapon, uh, which I thought was awkward, but then I look at this cane, and he's running the same thing. He, he's running a 79 Victora. I, I would say 79 Victora is actually more dangerous because she has charm. Uh, I'm not quite ready to go up against Dwayne yet, but uh, 79 Victora not wearing a TMR. Uh, you get a lot of these in like the 5,000-ish. Uh, people running teams that, like, they sometimes they forget uh, they upgraded a weapon, etc., and the, and then it, it disarms. Uh, things like that. It's very commonplace. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see what Sakura does. First turn, I should get a Cecil Shield here. Uh, wow, she is up front. The heck? Okay. Cecil gave him the shield. Okay, she did that first turn, but that's not good because she ran up front. 
I also, and then crit ran back, so that's not good, because then she's not getting the defense ability. Okay, Dragon Bane did almost nothing. Here's a Rebel Intention. Uh, they're gonna get owned. Okay, no, no Rebel Intention. I probably should just keep Rebel Intention on. Uh, I might lose this one now. Earth Slash. Okay, that's a jump. That's all my die here. Ouch. I think Dan Chris should be able to finish this up. Nice splash edge. Doesn't have the height <laughs> doesn't have the height damage. Okay, uh That didn't go as well for Sakura's first turn. Uh, a couple of issues there. First, uh, Thancred didn't use his defense buff. Uh, which is fine. I think I can just not use the defense buff here. I'm not uh, hit. I'm not too big on that. Uh, probably don't even need to use Gunbreaker here. I probably can use Dragoon. Uh, let's see. Which move did she use? Earth Ending. Used Earth Rending Pain. Over her rebel's intention. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off Earth Rending Pain. Uh, Spirit Breaking Pain, I guess, is decent because because it has a chance to stun people. I'm gonna keep on the I'm gonna keep the 100% uh, hit attack on, and I'm gonna keep this attack on. Uh, apparently, uh, AOE buff trumps single buff, so I'm gonna have to put her here. Um, I'm gonna switch her with Cecil, and that way Cecil first turn will buff the two of them. She'll run up, buff them, buff both. She'll run up, use Lex protection, and then uh, Cecil will buff the two of them. Uh, let's see, can I find another one, dude? Uh, this seems like a good team to fight. I would be. I'm very interested in seeing what Super Stern can do to uh, what Super Stern can do to Sakura. Not the best team for me though. Um, we'll see. Uh, I am quite concerned about dying here. Uh, King Dragon Bane normally hits for about 5k. Uh, only hit me for about 1k, 1k plus change between the Cecil Shield and the Sakura. In the Sakura element buff. Um, I kind of do want the Encrypt's buff on me as well, but I don't think there's a good way for me to get that. Okay, there's a shield. Uh, Cecil not getting that shield is not good. I think the main threat here is Glaciella. Uh, I am risking a pretty high winning streak for this, which I am kind of living to regret, uh, but that's fine. I don't know if that cane actually has used it yet. Earth Slash. Okay, uh, Rebel Intention is going to kill the two of them there. Or not. Okay, Lights. That move's pretty good. Kane's going to take a... Okay, or not. Oh, that, that did a ton of damage. Nice. Um, I was expecting him to survive that. Uh, apparently, Kane didn't use Courage there. Uh... Not something I was expecting. I was expecting him to use Courage. Uh, the Thunder attack did do a good chunk of damage. Their casting is decently fast. However, I'm not used to uh, this sort of cast time situation uh, because mostly I'm using uh, I'm mostly using somebody else. Uh, Acadia gun on the uh, <laughs> oh that's a, that's a good gun for me to have. Um, I should put I should put Acadia gun on the, on. Uh, on Luarta as her weapon, as her weapon transmog, so people will think twice before they hit me. Because if uh, if they get predicted fired into a stun, that's gonna be funny. Uh, I would like to fight that team, but I haven't fought any Dwayne's yet either. So probably can fight Dwayne. Uh, this is a fully maxed out team. Uh. This is also a fully maxed out team. Uh, I would like to fight this team, but I feel like Duarte would just wreck me. Uh, yeah, I feel no, no, wait, no, wait, she's using tune up. So this Duarte is not scary at all. 
She'll hit, she'll hit like a truck, but she won't have the range to touch me. Uh, by the time she gets close, her range would have already been awkward. Because the way to run Luarta on this map is completely dependent on that moment where your whole team, where your whole opponent team lines up, uh, lines up in a straight line for you to do Sidewinder. And when you don't have the plus two range, I'm not too sure how good that's gonna be. Because uh, well, ha essentially, what'll happen if you don't have the plus two range is uh, you won't be able to hit me, and then by then I would have already gone into some kind of crevice. Uh, also, kind of a weird place for. Um, I don't know why the second buffer always goes to that area. That's kind of annoying. Holy Knight attack. Uh, see, uh, normally I would have gotten Sidewinder there. Okay, uh, Rebel Intention right there. Or Ruinja, okay, that's a weird one. Doesn't matter, Rough Divide is gonna kill him. You already did Dragon Bane, ouch. But look at, look at Sakura. Okay, um, you should've, AI is not smart enough to use, uh, use, uh, Rebel Intention right there. Rebel Intention would've instantly killed him. Uh, that one wasn't close at all, uh, but it may come down to Rebel Intention, killing him outright. So, uh, I gotta think of some way of getting her to use that more often. On the other hand, I'm kinda lucky that she, uh, Oh, by the way, I can use her ultimate. Her ultimate has Dark Killer, so that will do a ton of damage. But it also burns a lot of her AP. So, might not be a good idea. Well, for her, first turn, she's already using Zombie. Second turn, first turn, the heal thing, so... We should be okay. Uh, is she running range, or is she running Quicken? Running Sniper, okay. Uh, hmm, this will be a good team to fight because Cecil will be using a defense shield. Uh, too bad we're not seeing too many men in blacks anymore because they don't have um. Where we're not. Oh crap! I should have ran the. I should have fought the banquet team because banquet is minus thirty. Banquet's minus thirty magic resist. But yeah, too bad we're not seeing any man in blacks anymore because uh the anchor is the bonus unit now. Doesn't make a difference though. Okay, shield there. Uh my Even as it is now, my Sakura is actually surprisingly tanky, which is interesting. Okay, magic infused. Eat an eternal pain, ouch. Uh, he's probably gonna take an Earth Run to the face or a Surge Strike to the face. Come away. Eh? Oh my gosh, just got himself killed. What an idiot. Could have done Earth Strike. But no. Okay. That's her normal attack, one Light Blade. That's funny because those two are blocking him right now. Uh, it's also blocking Dankrit, but uh, Kane's gonna take some serious damage here. Or not. The hell? Ruinja, nice. Ouch, holy knight attack. Light's blade. He's gonna kill- oh my gosh. I was expecting Dankrit to just kill him. Okay, uh, Dankrit might be able to kill him with a crash edge. I don't know if, uh, Cecil has any strong move that can kill me. Or he can do that! Freaking hell! I'm slow and he's hasted? Wow. I got really lucky there. That was smart, uh... The agility. Too bad Dankrit didn't have to, uh, too bad Dankrit had the shield and he couldn't kill me. But holy crap. That was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, that seems to be my intent. That seems to be what I'm gonna say a lot these days. Okay, I guess I don't need Pummel for this. Which is weird. <sighs> that Pummel should have killed him. Uh, cause it's light type. Uh, cause I'm light type and I'm using a light type move. And he's 25 weak to miss, uh, weak to fist. That being said, I don't know why the dumbass did pummel instead of uh, surge strike, or even better, this move, arrow slash. Uh, too bad he doesn't get any good uh, fist moves. There aren't even I don't even think there's any large damage fist moves in the game yet, which is kind of sad. This is anti magic. 
No, there's anti-slash. I wonder what's with that. Um, so the thing with Ruinja is it gives her a nice attack, the unit type attack. Otherwise, that last time I couldn't really hit him. Uh, still nobody that's 100, still nobody with the 150 rate up, so I'm free to pick whoever. They're all pretty close. Uh, nobody's crazy high of me yet. Orlando, this is, uh, defense. This is evade, probably. Uh, interestingly, there isn't a lot of, uh, I'm not running into any... I'm not really running into any, uh... Oh, there's one right there. Uh... I think she should be able to... I think she should be able to chunk Warrior of Light pretty hard. This one's running Magic Resist, I'm guessing. I mean, Missile Resist, I'm guessing. Uh but if I'm gonna fight one, I'd rather fight one that's a little bit stronger. Hmm. AoE resist. This is straight magic. Uh straight full defense. I was gonna say full ice team, but this is not ice team. Uh, Kilfey, okay. Uh, I think this would probably be an okay team to fight. Uh, in, in class matches I ran, uh, today, Sakura did a good chunk of damage on Kilfey, so... That might be good. Uh, unfortunately, Kilfey is very strong against, uh, Thessal and, uh... Thessal and, um, Banquet. I probably should put Thancred up first, that way Cecil can shield the both of them, and when he runs up, he won't be too far ahead. I don't really want Thancred, I don't really want him to die. Uh, and she'll probably catch that buff as well. Okay. Arrow Slash. I'm hoping for a Holy Knight attack would've been better. Oh, a leap. Okay, jump. Eternal Pain, nice. Very nice. Uh, Surge Strike, that did some decent damage there. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't use the, uh... That move on him. I'm surprised he didn't use, uh... Shoot, what's that move called? Uh... Magic Infuse. Uh, okay, I guess that means that, uh, it's not fast enough. So luckily she has, she does have an instant attack in Light Blade. Uh, I'm guessing Rebel Rebellion or uh, Lightning, the Lightning AoE isn't fast enough. So it's good that Sakura kind of has the best of both worlds. She has several instant attacks and she has a couple of uh, uh, other abilities. Okay, um, I was going to do something. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, I was going to switch him with uh, Thancred. Uh, although, I would love to spend more Vizior and fight, uh, keep fighting all the way down and see how far I can get in terms of winning streak. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't seem like uh, uh, the case. I was not expecting to recover this quick, so I was expecting to be doing this series for a bit, at least for a week, to see where I would end up at if I didn't use any boosts. And I only have the one bonus character. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good here. Um, Sakura has been pretty insane. Uh, in terms of, like, class matches. Uh, Arena? Uh, not as much. But, uh, 5 out of 5 is not bad. Uh, not bad for a debut. Um, her, uh, her other ability is, uh, Let's just go to her abilities. Oh gosh, can't remember. Can't talk. Oh, yeah, can't talk as well these days. Uh, okay, light blade. This is an instant ability, so that's what she's been using to kill people last turn. I uh, haven't really seen her use thunder. Uh, uh, Thunder's light. She used this once. Uh, this is the. This is what I'm using to give her uh, AP. 
the real move I want her to use is this one. Um, Rebel Intention. And I believe with Thunder Blossom, uh, that is a XL attack. Uh, that's an XL attack that increases her magic pen by uh, 50. But she hasn't really used that yet. And keep in mind, I'm not running a magic team here. I'm just kind of running a whatever team. And she's not, these are all level B. Uh, so she's holding a couple of UR weapons and she's not really using that. Also, I forgot to give her this new weapon I just crafted. Oh, that was dumb. So basically, whatever damage that Sakura is doing, you can add an extra 10% to that. Not that I think anyone actually survived any of her attacks, to be honest. I think they all just straight up died. But yeah, uh, this is, our, this, diet. This, this is what I'm running for light team at the moment. Uh, I'm hoping to get a better light team. Um, probably here I should equip uh, Bale Burgeonette. Uh, she's never really using bells, so that's kind of awkward. I uh, would like him to use bells, but I think he just dies beforehand, so there's nothing I can do about that. Alright, uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will also... Uh, I'll also probably connect yesterday's video along with this one if I can find it. Uh, but yesterday is free every year, so I don't know if anyone really wants to watch that.